have your arm across this way. Eh? So you're pinning him, you're holding him down, and then you do that. Now look how far he is, which means now I push him over there, I can now turn or have it back and create space. So it's about challenging. I started Hattonwick FC back in 2015. That was after I spent eight years in prison for gang-related offences through being involved with the Peckham boys. When I was released from prison, I was homeless. It was only by the saving grace of going to the council at the time after visiting probation, so look, I've just come out of prison, I'm homeless, I don't want to re-offend, can you guys get me to housing? And I was made on a priority list, which actually helped me, gave me the stability I needed. At the same time, in reverse, my mum was living around the corner from here. They've been now in temporary accommodation for six years. When you're living in temporary accommodation, you never feel secure, you can't have visitors. You never have that sense of belonging, so a lot of your stuff is always in storage. You don't have a living room, so it, it's, it's, a, it's a difficult space, and people need to understand that homelessness isn't just people living in the streets, people who don't have secure tenancy and the anxiety that comes with that too. Things like me coming over and helping her cook, it does give that sense of family, that sense of belonging, that sense of love, but ultimately we would want her to be in her own space that she can actually call home. My personal experience with homelessness has made me think about my approach with young people at our football club and how we run our programmes. We've had Newark Football Club try to make it a home away from home for some young people. People are not always having the greatest of time at home. We know they're going through different things that they can't really speak about all the time. So we've had Newark Football Club try to get them on a one-to-one -one, say, look, what's going on? Back in 2015, I was found intentionally homeless. I met this lovely solicitor from Shelter and she helped me literally do everything. She changed my life around because I had no hope at that point. She got the council to overturn the homelessness. She got them to move my stuff, keep it in storage for a few months, pay for it all, do my housing applications. And right now I'm living in a really nice two bedroom apartment, which is permanent housing. And without her, I do not think I would have been able to just keep thriving and have that hope. They even, at one point, she gave me and my children Christmas presents. I was really appreciative of that. You don't see that come around regularly. Being at Hackney Wick, it is like a home away from home. Everyone is part of a family. We all support each other. My experience of homelessness meant that I could help others not go through what I've gone through. 